Air Jordan 12 playoffs. Alright, so what's up YouTube? Another pickup video for you today. Uh, special one, special one for me. Got the Air Jordan 12 in the black, white, varsity to red, otherwise known as the playoff colorway. Oh my goodness. <laughs> this is my favorite colorway of the 12s. Um, this is an original colorway. One of the original five, the last original five to release. Uh, Mike debuted these in the 1997 All-Star Game and then wore them for home games throughout the 1997 playoffs. Of course, culminating in uh, the fifth title at home, wearing these. So these are the fifth title shoe. And for the most part, um, these are pretty much what I expected as far as the way recent 12s have been going. They did improve a few things. We'll, uh, we'll go over that. But I just wanted to talk, man. This, this is... By far my favorite colorway of the 12s. Um, white and reds are second, and I would have preferred if they had done the white and reds just because those are so long overdue. But um, I'm not mad if they're gonna do the playoff 12s, especially since I haven't bought these since 2004. Um, I passed on the, the 2012s just because the, the, the quality of those was so bad, and then they made those color tweaks. Um, like they made the, the jumpman on the toe red for some reason, um, and then also some of the text that's on this heel tab, on the pull tab, they also made a red, and I just wasn't feeling it, it was unnecessary. Um, <clears throat> so, and I didn't buy the low, so this is my first time buying these since 2004, and I tripled up back in 04, but I actually ended up only wearing one of the pairs, the other two pairs are still DS, I have them, and, but the one pair I wore, I hooped in them, and I hooped hard in them, I literally blew through them. Um, the leather piece, I believe it was on the right shoe, the, the upper piece, the leather piece right here, just separated from the midsole. And then those, that pair was just done. And um, I had another, another original pair, not this one, a separate original pair I was wearing um, back at that same around time, around the late 2000s. Um, but then I kind of stopped wearing them, they were just old and yellowing. Um, so I haven't really worn playoff clothes in over, over a decade, and this is my favorite colorway, so. I am, I'm gonna wear the shit out of these. <laughs> I'm gonna wear the hell out of these. I was able to um, to double up on Dicks. I got two 13s on Dicks. Um, I was going for a 12 and a half on sneakers, but I caught the L, so I probably will pay resale to go ahead and get my 12 and a half so I can hoop in these again. Um, yeah, I'm, oh, man. Bro, I love this colorway. The, the this, this color combination of a black upper with white bottoms and red accents, it's like, I think it, it might be my favorite color combination just in general. And definitely on Jordans for, for the most part. There are a couple of exceptions. Some of my, um, some of my uh, models, I prefer a white colorway or a white color is my favorite. Um, but in general, the black colorway, particularly the, the black with the white and the red, it, it's just unmatched, man. It's just unmatched. 
And uh, just the 12 in general, obviously, uh, solid rubber outsole, the herringbone traction, um, and you can see the carbon fiber spring plate that is under there extends a little bit down here and about halfway up the, the forefoot there. Got a file on midsole, full length zoom there, full leather upper. Uh, so for the most part, like this, this time, this timing back in the 90s, it's kind of just extended until now where even modern shoes still use Zoom Air, obviously. They're still using uh, a form of Phylon, even though they might, you know, they might call it React, but React, Phylon, they're all EVA foam, so they're all pretty much the same thing. They're just being tweaked as far as their, their densities and their responsiveness, but they're all pretty much the same. So this is still a playable shoe. The only, you know, drawback would be that it's using natural materials for the uppers. So, it's gonna be a heavier shoe, and then, you know, when that leather breaks in, it's not gonna be as supportive as some of the modern builds, some of the modern materials that they might use. Um, but for the most part, they did a great job on this retro. Um, it's pretty much what I expected, like I said, um, with like the royalties, it's pretty, everything's pretty much exactly the same, except, except one thing I will say. The tongue, as you can see, hopefully the camera's picking it up, the, the texture and then the, the materials that they use for the black in the upper is the exact same that they use on the tongue. Um, that's how it was on the originals, that's how it was on the first retros, but on some of the recent 12s, they've been skimping out on the tongue. So I actually grabbed my, my uh, black and royal pair. So if you notice, I hope the camera can pick it up. So I think that's a good spot right there. You see this upper, that they're using here is the same, you know, black tumble leather upper they use on 12s. But if you see the tongue, it looks tumbled, but it's really just like an embossed um, texture, and that's like a synthetic. That's not full. That's not real leather. Where this is a, it's real leather. It's a split grain, but it's real leather. Where this on the tongue is not. So that's one thing they did improve. Where they didn't skimp out on the materials on the tongue, on the new pair, um, and then just. I pulled out one of my OG pairs just to kind of compare. Um, first thing, like once you pick up the original pair, the first thing you notice is the leather quality. This, I mean, this is nice by today's standards, what they use, but this is like the full, full grain leather they used to use back in the 90s. Like this, this is gonna be the best type of leather you're gonna find on a basketball shoe pretty much. Um, that's not like, um, some type of special collaboration where they use like some calf skin or something like that, something crazy. But for like a mass produced product, you know, this is what you're gonna find. And this is what they used to use just um, normally because that was the standard that they were at back then. You know, when they said quality inspired by the greatest player ever, they actually upheld that back then. Now it's just, you know, basically just a statement, but that's another conversation. But anyway, yeah, the, uh, the immediate thing that I noticed is the leather quality is completely different. It's just on another level. It's softer, it's thicker. Um, let me see if I can get you a comparison. So if you see like the white panels on the on the retro pair, it's pretty thin cut. I'm trying to catch that medial side cut right there in the camera. Um, maybe a little bit on that panel. You can see it's a pretty thin cut. Whereas on the original, I hope, I hope you're gonna be able to see that. On the original, that cut on the, especially on that medial side, you see how thick that cut is on the white? Completely different completely different level of, of leather quality, um, which is expected. So I'm not, you know, I'm not tripping about it because that's pretty much expected. They're, they're just not gonna use this anymore unless they have to for some reason, which the way shoes are selling right now, they don't have to. So that's just something we gotta deal with. Um, the other thing is with the originals, for whatever reason, the like the, this lower part of the shoe, this lower panel comes up higher on the shoe than it does on the retros and that's been, from the beginning of the Retro 12, going back to the first ones in 2003, that shape has just, that height shape has never quite been right. Um, and it's more, it's really more noticeable when the shoe is on your foot and you're like looking in a reflection. That's when I notice it. I don't really notice it just, you know, looking at the shoe in hand or in pictures or even down like, or even like your, the top down look when you're wearing it. It's really that side reflection view is when I notice that the shape isn't quite like this. And you know, I'm not sure if, the, if you're gonna really be able to tell, but. Yeah, you're probably not gonna be able to tell in the camera the way this lower, this the retro pair, the, that white panel doesn't come up quite as high as it should. I mean, cause even the, yeah, actually, now that I'm putting them toe down, 
I can see that the, the where the white panels come on the toe, it is a little different. It's actually quite different. Um, I'm not sure if the camera, let's see. I'm not sure if we're gonna be able to pick that up on the camera. Um, obviously cameras don't work the same way as eyeballs. <laughs> So I'm not, gonna, I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see that in the camera, but um, yeah, that's one of the just the for whatever reason they just can't seem to get that correct on the 12s in general. Um, and then this shoe for whatever reason also just looks higher. I think like this ankle part it doesn't drop off as much. I think the retro pair when it drops back to the back of the ankle, you see that slope. It kind of slopes back a little further, so it doesn't look as boot-like as the original. Um, but for the most part, that's pretty much it. Um, the leather quality and then a couple of little bits with the shape. Everything else is, is on point. Everything else is on point. So um, I'm definitely looking forward to these, to wearing these again for the first time in a long time, man. Oh, man. <laughs> these are so clean, man. These are so clean. <sighs> Sorry, give me a moment. <laughs> Um, yeah, so that's about it. I'm gonna try to keep this review a little short, even though I know I, I pretty much ramble. Yeah, it's almost 10 minutes already. I get to talking about shoes and I just get to talking. Um, but I hope you guys were able to acquire your pairs if you're going after them. Um, <clears throat> I'm certain that they're gonna be restocks down the road. Um, that they, they, that's pretty much the MO these days. They'll have the initial release and I know that they hold back stock to, you know, to restock later. You know, when the shoe restocks, it's not because they made more. I'm sure, I'm pretty sure it's the original run. Um, but yeah, for the most part, I am definitely satisfied with these. Edge on 12's playoff, I will definitely. This is, <laughs> it's not often you get, um, you know, your your favorite colorway of whatever model ends up dropping, you know, and you're able to get your pairs and you can look forward to wearing them. Um, but I'm definitely looking forward to it. Yeah, but that's gonna be it on the video. Just gonna try to, try to cut ahead and cut it off. Don't need to make it run any longer. Um, go ahead and give me a thumbs up if you liked the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. And of course, more videos on the way. Peace out.